Hello everyone, today we are going to do a short demonstration about one of our favorite uh, license of Jaltest that is Jaltest of Highway. Jaltest of Highway is our diagnostic solution for construction equipment where we cover different pieces of equipment from compact equipment to heavy duty including also stationary engines, generators and so on. In this model we cover 100 manufacturers with the proprietary four codes, dealer level by directional test and also technical information, wiring diagrams, and travel shootings. If for one reason you do not find your brand accessing, for example, to compact equipment or heavy equipment, I invite you to go to stationary engines because maybe you do not find the name of the machine there, but you are going to find always the coverage of the engine that that machine has here. So for example, if your uh, equipment has a Kubota engine, you can click on stationary engines, look for Kubota, all right, and then here you select the uh, model. As you can see, we cover diesel and gasoline, so I'm pretty sure you are going to find all the coverage you need. In this case, I'm going to connect to a, a John Deere, uh, a John Deere excavator, so we are going to select heavy equipment. Once we access to this menu, you can see that we have 66 different brands here. I'm going to look for John Deere. And we click on John Deere and we access to the uh, brand. Here we have all the different models and pieces of equipment that Jaltes cover and if we want to make the, the search uh, easier we can click and, and search by category. So in this case it's going to be a crawl excavator. Once here we look for our brand, uh, sorry our model, it's going to be a 210G series and we arrive to the uh, menu where we are going to select the ECM or the system in which we want to work in today, okay? So in this menu, we are going to find uh, the transmission, the hydraulics, the engines, and all the systems that Jaltes cover. Some brands, like for example, uh, Caterpillar or Volvo, has uh, system scans. That means that the Jaltes can uh, access to all the information of the machine and identify all the systems so you don't need to select manually anything. In this case it's not possible because we have different manufacturers and when we have different manufacturers in one uh, machine, in this case in these excavators that we have Hitachi and John Deere, we are going to have different systems communicating from different ports. So the system scan is not needed because we are going to have one or two systems in every diagnostics port. I'm going to show you, for example, if we want to work uh, with the uh, hydraulics, we click on body computer, we click on how to connect, and once here we have access to the uh, connector menu. In this case, Jaltes is going to explain us how to connect to this uh, hydraulics of this uh, John Deere excavator, and as you can see, the connector is the Hitachi connector, we have explanation about the pinout, and also the locations, okay? So if we want to play with the body computer of this uh, John Deere excavator, we are going to need this Hitachi uh, connector. Also, as in this case, we are going to need uh, an auxiliary uh, power supply. Jaltes is going to help you with all the components that you are going to need. The Hitachi connector, the OBD2, and also the external power supply with the gators. But I'm not going to work with the hydraulics, I'm going to work with the engine, so let's click on the final tier 4 engine. When we select uh, our system, we click on connect. This is going to be the diagnostics menu, and this menu is going to be the same regardless of the manufacturer. So it doesn't matter if we work uh, with the John Deere engines, Deutz, Komatsu, Kubota, Janmar, Cummins, or Caterpillar. It's going to be always the same. So once you get used to work with Jaltest, it's going to be very easy for you guys to uh, perform the maintenance and the repairs in the rest of the manufacturers. In this menu, we are going to find the read for codes, the clear for codes when we uh, repair the codes, and also uh, advanced capabilities that allow us to test and check the performance of the engine in this case. Okay, so for example, in maintenance is where we are going to find the actuations uh, for the after treatment, like for example, resets, regens, well, you can see all the different things that we cover here, okay? And also the modification of parameters. But before going to the diagnostics, I would like to highlight the technical information, okay? 
So the display of Jaltes is always in the same logic. We have uh, one part of the screen for working with the system and another one with the technical information. So all the information we may need during the repair process is going to be always one click away. For example, maintenance intervals, wiring diagrams, or for example, specific technical information about it. For example, in this case, the final tier 4 uh, level th 33 John Deere engine. That it's always there in order to uh, allow us to access and not going to Google uh, manuals or pay to other uh, technical platforms outside of the software. So we can combine always our diagnostics with the technical information. So for example, imagine we are going to need the tightening torques, for example, of the cylinder head. This information is going to be always here. So this is proprietary information, very specific and always filtered by your uh, brand and your model. Okay, let's go back to the diagnostics and I'm going to show you how Jaltes performs the diagnostics. Okay, this is uh, the diagnostics menu and uh, I like to say that we are offering a, an advanced diagnostic solution and this is because uh, if you compare how we display the information with other solutions including the OEM softwares you are gonna you are gonna see that uh, most of the time using other tools you're only getting the four codes so if you for example use John Deere uh, diagnostics you are gonna have this information the four code and a description but then the mechanic is by their own repairing the machine with Jaltest, we try to go deeper and we have here an additional menu, like uh, an additional help that can help the mechanics to uh, repair the equipment. So for example, if I click on freeze frame data, we are going to have access to all the uh, information that the ECM stored at the moment that this full code pop up. So when occur, uh, what was the hours of operations of the machines, pressures, temperatures, you know, like a picture, no? about what was going on at the moment that the problem appeared. Then on the question mark, Jaltes is going to highlight the component that is sending that information to the ECM. So if we are, an electron we are having an electronic problems, we can access to the information of that component. So for example, in this case, Jaltes recommends you to check the model for the temperature sensor of the DPF, of the diesel particular filter. So we have here operational values, the pinouts and also a hyperlink to check what is the what are the measurements that right now this sensor is sending to the ECM. Another cool thing is that we can access to the wiring diagrams and check the communication between that component at the EC and the ECM. So if the problem is not the component itself and either the ECM and we have a problem with the cables or even the pins, these diagnostics, these wiring diagrams is going to be very useful for us. Here we have, for example, all the sensors. Jaltes already has highlighted the component in which we are having the problem. Make this bigger. And this menu allows us to understand the, that communication. So for example, in this case, we have four pins in this uh, temperature sensor of the DPF that communicates. If you follow the track, uh, the cable, sorry, you are going to see that the communication arrives to the pin 38, 28, 6 and 24 of the socket X2. So now the question is where is that socket? Okay, we click on the ECM and we have that information. So it's going to be the second socket and then the pinout is here. So the only thing we have to do is look for the pins in which we are having the communication and maybe we are going to see that one pin is disconnected and we repair the problem in five minutes and not expending a lot of uh, money. So the good thing is that we have problem with the cables, this information, that this proprietary information is going to be always available in the software. So the pinouts of Cummins or Volvo are going to be here. Last but not least, uh, we have the four code troubleshootings. So if we cannot repair the uh, fault by our own and we need an extra help, we, are always, uh, we can always come to this menu and follow the instructions that Jaltes has developed in order to clear that specific full code. So the only thing we have to do uh, now is read. Okay, so reading we are going to be able to resolve our problem. And also in this type of troubleshooting guys, we are going to have access and hyperlink to a specific uh, bidirectional test. So for example, in this case, in the step three, Jaltes recommend us to do a DPF regeneration. 
So let's click on that and I'm going to do the region to finish this webinar. Every time we carry out an action with Jaltest, we have three steps. The first step is going to be information about the action. So temperatures, pressures, and additional information before carrying out any action. The second step, it's going to be the initial conditions with warning lamps and displays of measurements in life. And once we have all the ticks, we can continue. And the third step, the third step is going to be the execution of the action. It doesn't matter if we are doing an injector coding, a region or whatever. So all, every time we are going to have this uh, information here. Okay. So that's everything. We did the region, we resolved the problem, and now we can go to the clear four codes that is going to be here and uh, clear the four code and, and repair our machine. So it's very easy. Everything is in the same platform. And well, we can uh, stay playing with the tool and accessing to other models. I hope you enjoy this uh, webinar, this uh, video log. And well, stay tuned and see you very, very soon. Thank you.